you guys today as requested I'm filming an updated skincare routine if you haven't seen my face in a little while and you miss my return to YouTube I'm going to link my past few videos down below if you want to get caught up as always all the products mentioned today will also be linked in the description box and my Instagram and Twitter are always down there as well if you aren't following me there and you want to keep up with my life a little bit but let's go ahead and get right on into it I'm gonna kick this off with a skin update since it's been a little while my skin has been great since you've seen me last honestly like I have had the best skin of my life I'm going to insert some makeup free selfies over the past couple years here as I am talking so you can see exactly what I mean my skin has been very bright even clear etc I'm not sure whether to attribute this to getting older wearing makeup less or just really locking down a routine that works for me I think it's probably a combination of all three my skin did freak out a little bit during our recent move it's like the universe knew I was coming back to YouTube and decided I just couldn't possibly be seen with really great skin I think everything with the move happened so fast that I didn't have time to feel stress so instead my stress manifested as breakouts also my skin has historically just goes a little haywire in November and December for some reason which is always really fun but now that things in my life have settled everything is calming down my skincare products are getting me back on track so it's all good nowadays my skin is pretty normal I'm still a little combination oily in my t-zone my skin and eyes are still very sensitive and I really just get one or two breakouts before my period I've got one on my jawline right now <laughs> I don't really get cysts anymore and I think it's also worth noting that I don't do my skincare routine every single day because I don't wear makeup or go anywhere every day Day. It's not something I recommend for everyone, but it works well for me. So I'm actually out of my two favorite cleansers right now So I'm just gonna throw up some pictures on the screen while I'm talking about them and funnily enough Both of my favorites are gel cleansers definitely out of the ordinary if you know me The first is the CauseRx low pH gel cleanser. This is a mild frothy gel consistency it Doesn't disrupt the skin at all like the name would imply and it does have some acne fighting ingredients like tea tree Which have always really benefited my skin personally. The second cleanser is the Ula Henriksen truth juice daily cleanser now listen ever since I did my Ula Henriksen brand review this brand has really been that bitch for me I know some people aren't a fan of their products but they have a lot of my favorites and they really just bring out the best in my skin I mean I feel like you saw the photos my results speak for themselves they're a brand that worked well for me when I first tried them seven years ago when I was working at Sephora and their products are still yielding great results for me today my skincare content has always been about sharing what works for me or doesn't work for me and just my unfiltered personal experience with the products and you know you can take it or leave it this cleanser contains PHAs which I have spoken about in the past they are just larger molecules than AHAs so you get a little bit more of a gentle chemical exfoliant yes I am still squeezing those chemical exfoliants into my routine any step I can. This cleanser just leaves my skin feeling really energized and bright and fresh. I have been dying to restock this but I've been trying to save some money and also anytime I run out of a product I try to use like at least a couple different products in my stash before I repurchase anything so while I've been out of these cleansers I use up a Glossier milky jelly cleanser and I was also sent this Tatcha the deep cleanse so I've been trying this out in the interim and I haven't been using it for too long but so far so good I don't have any like strong feelings on it at the moment and I almost forgot for makeup remover when I do wear makeup I have just been sticking with the classics I have been using bioderma Sensa Bio on my eyes and then I use the Vanilla Co Clean at Zero over my face and a second pass on my eyes just to make sure I'm getting everything off. For proper exfoliants I've been using two products from Ula Henriksen. The first is the Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. I've talked about this so many times before. This toner really packs a punch if you are looking to target hyperpigmentation, clogged pores, breakouts, anything like that. It is strong. I can use it daily because I have built up my tolerance with AHAs. I don't use it daily because like I said, I don't do this skincare routine every single day, but I can if I want to. I just dab it on a reusable cotton round, do a once over, and I only use this at night when I am using it. The second product is the new-ish probably came out a while ago at this point, Ula Henriksen Lemonade Smoothing Scrub. This is an exfoliant that combines physical, chemical, and enzymatic exfoliation. If you haven't seen my video on the differences between the three, I will link it down below. The granules in this are a very fine sugar. I only use this about once every two to three weeks because I do get so much exfoliation in my skincare routine already. I use this in the shower. I just spread on a light coat and like gently massage it in, but then I also leave it on for about two minutes while it works its magic and I've really enjoyed having this in my routine for that just deeper exfoliation every once in a while. For serums, I have a product I've never really talked to you guys about before 
and it has been the biggest game changer for me. It is also from Ulla Henriksen, and I'm not working with them on this video or anything. You guys know I always very clearly disclose any sponsorships, but it's funny because back when this product launched around March 2020, I had like a potential sponsorship for it in the works, but because I stopped posting, obviously nothing ever came of it. And after when I fell in love with this product, I was like, shit, I could have done a sponsorship and been paid to talk about this product that I'm genuinely just so obsessed with. And the product I'm talking about is the Banana Bright 15% Vitamin C Serum. I've been using this consistently since it launched. I'm almost done with my third bottle at this point. And I feel like this was the product that really turned my skin around for me. Maybe that's not the right term because I feel like post Accutane, my skin was like always on like a slow upward trajectory. Like my skin was looking pretty good, but I still had like dips in my progress that kept my skin from ever looking amazing. And I feel like when I added this into my routine, that's when things like went to the next level. <laughs> this serum contains vitamin C and PHAs. I don't typically love when a product has both. You know, I like a product to either have the vitamin C or the chemical exfoliant. So I was like a little bit skeptical when I was first sent this if I was going to like it but I gave it a shot and I'm so glad I did. Back when I did my Ulla Henriksen brand review, I talked about how much I love their Truth Serum. This is like that product, but on steroids. Hydrated, smooth, even, bright, clear. This product really does it all for me. This is my new number one can't live without skincare product. Take everything else in this video away and I'll survive, but not without this. Also, like I mentioned, I try to generally use up a few things in my stash before I repurchase anything. So when I finished my first bottle of that serum, I was like, okay, I have a couple other serums that I'm just gonna use up just to finish them, but like it never happens. I always go back to that one. And I have also been using the Vichy Mineral 89. I've lost track of how many bottles I've gone through of this serum at this point. And I do layer this under the Banana Bright Serum if I am going to be using both. This is just the perfect product for times like right now when the weather is treacherous. We're going on two weeks of polar vortex weather here. My skin has definitely been suffering as a result and this just gives back that perfect hyaluronic acid plump drink of water effect and really helps targets any signs of dehydration. I also have two moisturizers I've been alternating between. The first is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I know this video is probably pretty repetitive if you really kept up with my past content, so that's why I'm trying to keep some areas of this video brief so I'm not just like talking these products to death but I have a new one on the way. This one's getting quite crusty because I lost the lid for it in the move. But I use this morning and night, but I always use it before I apply makeup. It just gives you that perfect smooth prep canvas. It's redness reducing and soothing. And my other moisturizer is the Ulla Henriksen Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. Another product that I'm on, I think my third jar of and almost out of as you can see. Both of these moisturizers are just really reliable. They work for me no matter what my skin is going through, what season, we're in etc and since this is part of the transform line just like the glow to o toner it does have some ingredients for brightening the skin which i'm always looking for i haven't really been using eye cream over the past little while just out of the laziness truthfully both of those moisturizers work fine in my eye area like they don't cause me any irritation or melia or anything like that so i just have been bringing a little bit up you know around the orbital bone I have kind of like dabbled in some eye creams here and there, like I've tried some ones over the past couple years, but I haven't used any of them consistently enough that I feel like I should include it in this video. I'll link my eye cream video down below as well in case you want to hear about some of my favorites. For sunscreen, I've just been using the little sample sizes of the Drunk Elephant Umbra Sheer SPF 30 for the longest time because, no joke, I've gotten so many sets from Drunk Elephant that I've been able to use them up back to back where I haven't needed to purchase a sunscreen in so long. I've finally just run out and pretty much all of my favorite SPFs aren't actually sold in Canada. So if you have any recommendations for me, like you have similar skin, similar preferences, let me know. I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna pick something up from a vend because I do want something that's really accessible unlike all the other products I've used in the past. For the last portion of this video, I have a few kind of like random products, masks, treatments, etc. And I do have another standout holy grail favorite and that is these mighty patches from hero cosmetics i have tried a number of different pimple patches and i'm telling you definitively that these are the best and i don't say that lightly because i'm pretty sure these are the most expensive ones i've tried but they are worth it 
These do not budge and I find that is the most crucial thing in a pimple patch. You know, how many times have I tried a pimple patch? I put it on before bed, I wake up in the morning and it's gone. You know, it's just like disappeared off of my face and it does nothing when that happens. These will stay on for days if you let them and I'm telling you that because I have tried it over the course of quarantine. And for that reason, I will fork out the money for these for as long as I live. They will take an angry white head and pull out all the gunk and completely flatten it. I also really like pimple patches because they keep me from absentmindedly picking at my face if I have something over a breakout and they're great under masks as well if you have a breakout and you don't want to be getting bacteria all up in your mask put one of these over them and they are awesome and a few quick honorable mentions my favorite face oil is still the pie bioregenerate rose hip oil I am out of this sadly but it is such a holy grail product for me it's another one I really recommend for healing the skin if you have acne scarring or anything like that. I had this moment with this product that really blew my mind. I had a breakout on the corner of my mouth, like right in here. It's the worst spot because if you pick at it, which I did, then it just never wants to heal because every time you yawn, every time you eat, it's splitting it back open. So I had this sore on the corner of my mouth for literally weeks. Finally, I was so fed up. I was just like, okay, I'm going to put one drop of the pie rose hip oil on it before I go to bed and I'm not joking in the morning it had completely healed like more than healed honestly like it looked like it had healed two weeks ago it accelerated the process just like that and for masks the only two products I've really been using are the Sunday Riley Saturn sulfur acne treatment mask just to keep the breakouts at bay or if I do have a particularly particularly bad breakout like when I was moving I busted this out a lot and I've also really been loving this Kiehl's calendula calming mask this is what I go for lately whenever I want a hydrating mask. It just has this perfect, lovely, custardy texture. And it is a gel though, so it's really great for nourishing and hydrating the skin without being like overwhelming if you do have a skin type that tends to lean a little bit more on the oily side. And that's basically it. That is what I have been using for the last two years. I'm at the point now where I'm so happy with my routine and how my skin is looking that I really don't want to mess with it. Like I said, I will incorporate a new product and try it out every now and then, but I always end up going back to the lineup that you saw here. I'm very content with what my routine is doing for me and I don't see that changing for a very long time. So you can also kind of consider this like an updated holy grail skincare video. But once again, everything will be linked in the description box down below. I am always responding to comments. So if you have any questions, want me to elaborate on anything, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or found it helpful. Hit subscribe down below if you are new and go follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I am at Sarah Rihanna on both, but I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys.